presentations. We have eight speeches lined up for the next hour. And uh, we'll start with the Copenhagen identity, presented by Bart Brommenberg. Sorry? <laughs> oh, um, Eric Borgman. Sorry, Eric Borgman. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, uh, hi, I'll start the new session. I'll try uh, not to be too boring. I will not speak to you about everything new we are going to do or our situation a challenge on its own at least that's what i will argue uh, my job is at the common center and i am more or less hired to be certain to make certain that the word Kamenhagen or the name Kamenhagen is not only a brand name for our university but also has some content behind it and that sometimes we use that content. And I'd like to start with doing something out old fashioned we used to do at the university, reading something from the past. Not really that long ago but it is, it is the current strategy. And it says something, it says, uh, it, it goes like this, since 2007, we have defined our mission as understanding society. This is a modern translation of the philosophy of our founding father, Martinus Kobenhagen. It outlines a position based on the Christian and humanist traditions in which we have our roots. We embrace a forward-looking ethical orientation. We look to our connection with humanity and the natural world for our vision of sustainability and diversity. We believe in a society focused on these value, values and shaped jointly by government and business. And I think the civil society is left out not on purpose, but quite by accident. Uh, the point is, the point I would like uh, to make uh, is that exactly this is the reason why we turn to uh, society today. And not just because society is asking something from us, but because we have a mission in society. We want something from society. We think that society needs a university, and then in a way needs Tilburg University or a certain kind of Tilburg University. It is not that we are simply make, doing what is required, we are trying to move on and make the society a good society, and that is our mission as a university. We must remain true to our roots, and that is why, and that is, that is a job in itself. And already in, uh, in the current uh, pro, uh, uh, strategy, we say something like, we will be actively looking to productive way to let our work be guided by the insights, visions, and values inspired by this philosophy. And one of the things we did is having the Kommenhagen Center. Another thing is having this book available of the essays of Kommenhagen. I'm not asking you who read the book, but um, I'm not that optimistic about, uh, about that. Uh, I'll go into that just in a moment, but I think there is something, cha uh, something changed in the, in the recent past, and that is that we as a, as a university thought about our contribution to society in a situation that we thought that society was more or less a stable situ in, a, in a stable situation. We knew what people were about, we knew how the connections were, and we, and we were simply putting the pieces together. We are doing something, I mean, in one of these wheels or in one of these jigsaw puzzle pieces, and we are then contributing so to society. But today, we are here. In a society which is, is not simply working together, is not moving forward in the traditional sense of the word. Uh, it's making new borders again. It's, uh, it, it, it is uh, excluding people. It is in a mess, in a way, when you look at certain regulations and way ways of government. And I would say that in this situation, we need, and this is of course, this is the, 
well, I would say the ultimate symbol of that, of, the, of what's happening, the status quo laws last night, the revolt is the new normal. In that situation, our university has to operate. And in this situation, I think that we as a university have to go back to something important, Copenhagen said already. And that is that it is not, only, not the task of a university simply to produce experts on specific aspects of being valuable to society, but that we need people to think about what it means to be part of a society, what it really happens in society, and what our place in that situation is. So we need, in a certain way, to reinvent ourselves again as a university, or in the phrase of Copenhagen, what does it mean to cultivate the university today as a house of truth in today's world of post-truth? in contemporary society where people are moving in all kinds of directions. I think that here, one of the, that we have to stress the idea of being, what it means to be a university, and we need a, an infrastructure to do that. We have, we need an infrastructure to discuss and debate on what it means to be a university in today's society, and not just moving towards society, but also reinventing ourselves over and over again what it means to be an academic institution in that society. I focus on the third point on this, in this slide, an ongoing training in a debate on the uh, adequate academic culture. That is what we need to get, and not only as character building, but also as a character building for our institution. The university re uh, requires of, uh, not just external organization, but also moral formation and spiritual cultivation. We need that all the time. And I think this, this should be an aspect of the plans we make for the future. We need, to, we need an infrastructure for that, because otherwise, when we celebrate our 19th, 19th uh, uh, birthday this year, Copenhagen will become only a brand name for our university and not what we really want to be as a university. Thank you. For team 10, we have Ton Wildhagen on Advancing Society. <laughs> 